Lizzo has just called out TikTok on TikTok for taking down a video of her dancing in a swimsuit. She says that they have a double standard considering there are tons of videos of women and even girls wearing bathing suits and dancing that don't get taken down. I wonder why. Well, I actually don't know why, but we're gonna talk about it. What is great, V-Fan? This is Io. I'm Charlotte, but you probably already knew that. And if you didn't, hey, nice to meet you. On this channel, we talk about trending topics. We hear your boredom with tea spilling top tens, and um, we make cringy jokes. But you love us. Subscribe and follow us on social media for behind the scenes content. Lizzo has 8.3 million followers on TikTok. She's pretty popular on the app because her singing is, well, she's Lizzo. Girls got pipes! But when she checked out her TikTok account on March 3rd, she noticed that several of her posts of her wearing a bathing suit were removed. She then made a new video to call out the app and wrote, TikTok keeps taking down my videos with me in my bathing suits, but allows other videos with girls in bathing suits. I wonder why. TikTok, we need to talk. That rhymed. The video has been seen 8 million times as of right now. Now I haven't actually seen Lizzo's posts because they like aren't there anymore. Some people on Twitter were saying that there could have been partial nudity in the posts and that's why they were removed. But the general consensus is the app removing videos of Lizzo in a bathing suit could be a sign of TikTok's double standard. If you're not on the app, some of the biggest stars are girls dancing in bathing suits. If you look at Charlie DeLamelio's feed on the app, it's literally all videos of her dancing in a bathing suit. Charlie is 15 years old, and although she has been called out by people like Perez Hilton for her bathing suit posts, I personally don't see it as inappropriate, but that's not the only problem with them. More on that later. At this time, TikTok hasn't responded to Lizzo's call out, so no one really knows if TikTok is low key fat shaming Lizzo or if there's another reason. Back in December, The Guardian reported that many posts on TikTok were being censored, not totally taken off the app. Number one, sometimes videos aren't viewable outside the country that they were posted. A huge amount of posts on the app feature music. There's a lot of issues with copyright depending on the country you live in. Number two, people's videos were blocked from being featured on the For You page, which is necessary to be successful on the app. But also, taking down videos could be a a response to protect users from bullying. TikTok told The Verge that in a response to increased bullying on the app, they implemented a blunt and temporary policy where they take down videos entirely to prevent a user from getting bullied. But that's like, I don't know, I feel like it's a little far-fetched. Hundreds of other fans in the comments of Lizzo's post said that they have similar experiences when their videos are taken off the app. It is a little hard to believe that TikTok is trying to protect Lizzo from haters because of her size. Come on. I think she's living her best life and not really caring about what people think. Like, what are you gonna say? Lizzo's fat. Yeah, no shit. Like, Okay, what else? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, real original. Not to mention, most of the people who responded to Lizzo's posts were supportive. I personally find it interesting that if TikTok is taking down Lizzo's videos because they're worried she might get bullied, why are they not worried about taking down Charlie's videos because of their predator problem? Yes, I said it. Charlie is one of the most popular influencers on the app. She has 33.1 million followers and she's known for videos where she dances in a bathing suit. By the way, I saw her at Playlist Live and she is that pretty in person. To me, it doesn't really matter if Charlie wants to dance in a bathing suit, but I feel like the predator problem on the app is a huge issue, yet TikTok isn't taking serious action on it the way they supposedly are with bullying. Anyways guys, that is my two cents. Tell me your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Why do you think Lizzo's TikToks got taken down? That is a mouthful. TikTok's got taken down, TikTok's got taken down, TikTok. Blah. For now, I'm gonna wrap this one up with some comment features. It's a Navy said, God, this girl is always making my day. I'll jump on you if I see you. You are warned now. Carissa Young said, I see your crop top. You're gonna cave into your love for bike shorts. You know I am. Oh, you know it. I love bike shorts. <laughs> Gabriella Jacob said, I was working for Boohoo in their pop-up shop type thing and I was folding shirts and I saw you and got really excited, but I was too shy to say anything to you. Dude, just say hi next time. I would have loved to meet you. And here I'm thinking I went to playlist and I'm like, oh, no one knows me. But maybe people did know who I was and they just were too shy to say anything, so. Anyways, next time if you see me, say hi. That is it for me and thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. I'll see you next time.